Thank you for joining me at SEMA Show 2025. My name is Noel and I'm here with Jack and Diego. We are looking at a one of a kind, I would say unassuming, but until it turns on Lincoln Continental. This vehicle is an absolute masterpiece. It has, let me let the guys tell you about what this vehicle is. Hey, take it away. All right, yeah, so unassuming is kind of the <laughs> thing we were going for here, but we could start at the front. The most important thing is the engine. That's what we started this build with. It's a uh, Ford V10 block and crank from like a F250, F350, all the commercial vehicles use that. Yeah, just Ford truck engine. And uh, we took a Cobra four valve cylinder heads and cut them up and welded them back together to fit on this block because Ford never made a performance V10. It was always for trucks and they came in two or three valve. So that's really the heart of the beast. So we needed to do a custom intake manifold, custom Camps. camshafts, exhaust, all of that's custom. Um, and uh, what it's sitting in is also very unique. So this is a 2017 Lincoln Continental. Um, the reason we chose this car, I guess I'll let you take that one. What? Well, the, the reason we chose this car is because one, we think the car never had the justice it really deserved. You know, if you look at it, it's such a beautiful car from the outside, but it came front wheel drive, all wheel drive from the factory not really with the v6 not really a performance type of car and we wanted to create like a performance american gt and we thought the engine just belonged in something like this so we stuffed it in here we had to chop off the transmission tunnel the dash shoved it in there it has a six-speed manual transmission uh, and it has a suspension from a mustang so we had to adapt all that into this car and currently it runs and drives everything works inside so we kind of built it as like a what if if lincoln had built a performance car this is what we think it, it should have been like so the interior is very much a stock car if you look at it um, and uh, yeah I mean we're very proud of the car and how it came now out. how did you guys build like cut and weld the precision to make sure that it doesn't self detonate yeah. on the, on yeah, the cylinder was, head that was a challenge <laughs> I mean, the, the heads we actually had EDM cut EDM wire cut so that was uh, just a shop locally to us and then this guy welded the heads together uh, so that was an adventure because that was actually his first yeah, time welding. Yeah, first time I was welding cast aluminum or TIG welding. So, yeah, I mean, we, we mounted it onto the block itself as a straight surface and used the camshafts to help align the heads because you got two cams running through there. Um, so you can spin them and weld, um, but it didn't work out. They actually warped enough that we had to build a line boring system or a jig to cut a new camshaft bore and then install bearings into the cams, into the, the caps. So that was the trickiest part, honestly, was that, getting that to all work and spin smoothly. Now, so, what's your background with all of this ingenuity stuff? We're, we're both engineers <laughs> by, uh, I guess, profession. Yeah we're, yeah, we're mechanical engineers. So we went to school for engineering and uh, that, I think, helped us. But, you know, really, it's about just digging in thinking about what problems you're going to hit and how you're going to overcome it and just you know take each problem step by step don't let it discourage you right because we had the issue where we were reaching out to companies who can line bore our heads who can do this no no one's really set up for it or it was just too much of a hassle for shops to do yeah so, camshafts was another struggle right they didn't make camshafts for this engine because it's custom heads so we either couldn't find someone to do it or if they wanted to do it it was like crazy expensive yeah and so, you know can't just, be discouraged just keep tackling the problems but. i mean yeah because you guys are you know you have the know-how you have the drive you want to do all this cool stuff but maybe you don't have the name that would make a big company be like yeah i'll do whatever you want right, so they're right. like yeah this guy's just playing around you know right. we don't have time for that right. so yeah you guys had to persevere through all the challenge and be like we can make it and we're still going at each yeah. step where you're like this is an, this is harder than we think and then what kept you guys going at each of those challenges Honestly, just we, we just it's the challenge itself, but you know, it's like okay, this is a problem. How can we solve it? It's like it's personally, I just I don't like leaving things unfinished, you know. So there were a lot of times where it's like, man, we're kind of screwed. Like, what, what are we gonna do? And it's, you just keep trying until you get it. You know. It's just, now, now that you guys have this, that you guys like, we made this. But having 
persevered to this point, now you have the finished product. You know you can do anything. You, I mean, I don't know how crazy you guys are. What your next plan is? Actually, let me ask that. What's uh, what's an, what's next? Oh, that's, that is the question. Uh, we we have a couple of things that we're we're thinking about brainstorming. We haven't really locked in on anything yet, but um, yeah, we're I mean, not ready to announce anything. But I yeah. hope. I hope it's going to be cool if we go yeah, forward yeah, with we're one definitely, of them, but I don't know. It's, it's, I'd say it's probably going to be a very different direction than this, yeah. so it'll be something new for us for sure. What's yeah. the, so now, you guys back home, do you, have a, do, you work, do you have a body shop that you do custom things for customers, or do you work at like, do you have a regular job and then you... Yeah, this has been a part-time part yeah, thing for we us. We go basically. to work 9 to 5 every day, <laughs> come home and work on this in our wow. garage. What's the ultimate goal with your background, your your um, education, and what you've done, and seeing this finished product now, knowing also your capabilities? Where, where have you guys thought about? Where do you see yourself? Well, S small projection. We don't have to say five to ten years, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, just being able to build stuff like this for fun, you know, uh, would be nice. Uh, obviously, this was a very expensive project, and we have to keep working for that because we, we have the YouTube channel, but it doesn't really fund this yet. Um, if we can get to that point that we can keep building cool stuff, you know, and get ideally, to do the right, cool ideally stuff, quit yeah. the nine to five, you know, so we can do this full time. That would be, that would be nice. That yeah. would be nice. Maybe produce some parts of our own. We'll see. I mean, those are all things we've thought about in the, in the, you know, in the awesome. past. You're asking some hard questions. <laughs> yeah, credit, credit there. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm trying to get the whole, all right. Um, last question. Is it possible to get a quick start sounding bite of the vehicle? Right now? Uh, yeah. Are we allowed to? Go. I see light. I see light. Oh, 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 oh. oh listen to that growl. is unique one of a kind i i don't even know where to begin man what do you think of this lincoln continental and support these guys because they need your help to keep building one of a kind cool things like that stay tuned for next video sema 2025 <laughs>